join us as well. So really want to focus on um, three things tonight as we move forward. One is to go back over the criteria. Um, it's been a little bit since we met. I, since we last met, I apologize for canceling um, last month's training session, but we had a family emergency that I had to take care of. So tonight we're going to kind of go back over the criteria um, for um, ethics specialists. Um, we're going to get an update from you. Um, have you done some presentations? And I know that some of you have because you've been reporting them out to me. Um, what do you have planned? And then I want to talk about conclave as well since that seems a long ways away because you're just trying to get to the end of the school year and that's next school year and you got a whole summer in between. Um, but there are some things that we need to do in regards to conclave as well. So just as a reminder, um, the Daniels Fund criteria um, need to do a minimum of three approved in-state activities, uh, presentations. It can be a workshop. Um, I know that some people have done webinars already, have presented at state conferences, have presented at their CTSOs or are planning to do um, so later this summer and then have two additional completed or planned before the end of the year. Um, and then to, for conclave, um, you would do, if you're coming, um, you would do a presentation um, during conclave. You might do that with someone else. It can be a quick stop, which is 15 minutes long, um, or it could be a concurrent session that's longer, and we could do panel presentations. We can do lots of different things. Once I find out who is going to be attending Conclave this year, um, then we'll put together that schedule. Um, we will have some additional um, pre-conference activities for you. Um, an update on the Daniels Fund, it's going to be a, a morning training, um, and it will only be for ethics specialists uh, coming in, so you'll need to come in on Thursday evening uh, for Conclave. Um, to get that additional training and those updates of where we are um, as an organization with the Daniels Fund and what our next steps are. Also, please don't hesitate to just unmute yourself and ask questions as I'm talking. Um, we do have some time a little bit later for questions, but if you see uh, something on a slide and you have a question about that, please don't hesitate to unmute yourself and and ask that question. Once you've completed those five approved in-state activities um, by the end of this calendar year, 2017, and those activities reach 100 business or marketing teachers, um, we will provide a $1,000 honorarium to you. As we talked about in January um, at our training, when we provide an honorarium, that is non, I just want to give you a heads up, that's not tax. So you'll end up getting um, um, IRS form from us, right, to, to report that income. And you'll just want to set a portion of that aside for income taxes. You'll also receive a digital badge and full documentation of your professional development activities after the end of this year. And then this, uh, this winter, we offered you graduate credit. Um, at that training, we'll also be offering graduate credit again uh, at Conclave, so that would be additional credit. And I know that a couple of people took advantage um, of getting that cre uh, graduate credit from January, so that will be available again to you as well. That's $50 uh, per credit per hour, so really inexpensive way um, to pick up graduate credit. Okay, so I'd like to turn it over to you and allow um, each of you, I see we don't have as many people online as had registered for tonight, hopefully maybe some uh, um, some other, and I just looked and, and um, 
whoops, I'm sorry, whoops, Gail, I spelled your name wrong, I can't believe I did that. I, I had a student named Gail spelled this way, and I think I just wasn't thinking when I was typing. So, um, hey Nadine, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, good, I hadn't I hadn't put your name on here, so we'll put you down towards um, the sorry bottom. About that. I got on the wrong email and couldn't find the link. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll have you report out um, after Grace, who registered and didn't um, isn't here right now. So let's see. Okay. Ashley is not here. Rachel is not here. Um, so Natalie, um, you are here. So if you could unmute yourself and. Just give us an update. Um, if you've done any presentations, tell us about the presentation, who your audience was, how many people were there, what kind of feedback you received from your audience, um, what kind of presentations you have planned, questions maybe that have come up during your presentation or questions that you have for our group, um, and any ideas that you might have that um, in terms of uh, the presentations as you have gone through. So, Natalie, I'll go ahead and let you get started. Okay, so we I haven't done too much. I presented in front of a bunch of um, colleges and uh, mm -hmm. talked about the Agnes Fund initiative that we were starting off, etc. But I really haven't done anything as far as other presentations just yet. Um, I'm looking forward to new CBA come September 27th. That's a two-day conference. Um, that we are doing. Um, and right now I don't have any questions. I'm trying to uh, put myself together because uh, our department head's leaving and I'm trying to find somebody to step in and um, do both marketing and business criteria uh, classes and just trying to finish the school year figuring that out. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, there were, I think there was a little bit of wind in the background, Natalie. Did you say you were presenting at the CBEA conference? Yeah, I'm going to talk to Dana about doing it at CMEA. Okay. Oh, CMEA. Okay. All right. Perfect. Does um, DECA or FBLA hold any summer conferences with teachers that you might be able to present at? They do at the present time because Mike is uh, the FBLA sponsor and leaving. It, I might be headed to Anaheim at the end of June and beginning of July uh, for nationals. Um, I'm also finishing my master's this summer, so I can't sort of get away that much. Natalie, not put some more stuff on your plate. Hey, um, Natalie, if you do end up at FBLA um, this summer, Tammy Cyrus, who is one of our PD counselors, is actually presenting on the Daniels Fund. Um, could Would love to have your assistance if you're going to be there anyway. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. And if you do end up at FBLA, that might fit into um, one of your presentations if you would like it to. That will work. I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, keep me posted on that. Terrific. All right, Natalie, I'll let you self-mute, and we'll go to Gail, um, whose name I spelled incorrectly as I look at it. If that's the worst thing you do, all is well. Okay, thanks, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incognito, so you don't really know it's me. So I that's have not... I have not presented yet. I've talked to my department about it, and I am lined up to teach to uh, present at our state conference in June. I believe they've put me down for two sessions. The first would be how to get in, how to run through everything, and the second would be digging into various laps. Okay. Uh, so I have those planned, and I don't have any questions. I've been working on teaching the laps in my own classroom so I can figure out what the bugs are for me or mm -hmm. suggestions when uh, I present those in the future. Okay, terrific. We and, don't have, sorry. Go ahead. We don't have FBLA in Idaho. We have BPA, and we've already had our mm -hmm. state conference. Nationals is next week, and there are no set teacher presentations. It's a lot of groups, so you'd have students and teachers in the same room. Right. 
Right. Um, I, I do know that Shauna is looking for um, additional presentations, and I know that you've been in, con in contact with her mm -hmm. um, in, in doing a, you know, some more Daniels Fun training. She and I talked about it when we were on the phone a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So if there's, you know, a time frame, even if it's in the fall, um, I yep. think it was out there in the fall, um, to do either a day long training and but you'd want maybe want someone to support you on that not do the whole day by yourself um, reach out to us or see if she's got some additional trainings you can do okay I will Inter do it and I I know that when I first saw the program it was at our uh, joint officer leadership training yep. and so I assume that we might offer that again this next year and I will step in step yes up. that would yep yeah. okay terrific that would be great Awesome. All right. All right. And if you, um, you know, as you're trying to pull these five together, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to April um, or to your State Department person um, to ask, you know, where else can I present? Okay. Um, we're getting a lot of, if, this is for all of you, we're getting a lot of interest even outside um, business and marketing education. So if you have an ACTE conference in your state, um, that might be an option. You're going to draw more than business teachers, um, but we're going to be presenting at the, um, oh my gosh, what state? Arizona ACTE conference. And there is a lot of interest from, you know, all CTE teachers because ethics is really a, a much broader topic than just business and marketing and finance education. So, um, don't hesitate to reach out to us and, and we can see if we can't help you as well. Identify some areas where you can do presentations. And you could even do a presentation for us. You know, we could set up a, um, a webinar and set it up through your state person. And you could do a webinar on our go to training. I can show you how to do that. And then you could just open that up and do it from your home and invite people from your state to join you. So don't think everything's got to be face to face. Okay? All right, thanks, Gail. Um, Beth, Beth was online and then we lost her. I don't know if she's back online again. Beth is not. I think we lost Beth. Um, Grace is not joined us. Nadine, why don't you go ahead? Okay, I am. Um did a session at the Ohio Business Marketing um, Conclave. We have, uh, I think, I know they stole the name, I'm sure. But they've <laughs> had a, this is our 25th year that they've had Conclave. I'm in Perrysburg and I had, a, I did a one hour breakout session with um, business and marketing teachers and some state staff. I know Dee Sturgill was in attendance and um, they were all very interested, downloaded material. Um, I got a lot of questions. And then we had, I, I think I had about 30 attendants. I had them sign. Mm -hmm. So I have to uh, fax that into you. Yeah. Um, but they um, also asked me questions. At the, the last day, we have uh, mini sessions, um, like breakout, like 20 minute sessions. And I, had a session and they asked me questions about um, uh, the connections, MBA, mm -hmm. research, uh, um, Ohio connections, and they signed up for that. And um, a lot of them asked me follow up questions about the uh, ethics training, and they were very excited and very receptive. Oh, terrific! I felt a little pressed for time. I think an hour is a little bit short, but. Mm -hmm. um, the teachers and business teachers that were in attendance can always call me because I am, I see them frequently. Okay, terrific. So I, I think it went very well. Good. Um, Nadine, um, you may not be aware of this because we just scheduled it about a week and a half ago, um, but we have scheduled a Daniels Fund one-day training in Columbus for, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it's July 24th. So that might be something that you want to get involved in as well. Okay, who's heading that one up? Uh, right now, me. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'd be happy to get involved. 
Is anyone doing anything at the Ohio ACTE, um, the All Ohio Conference? No, when is that? That is in July also, and I am going because I got a Pace Setter Award. Mm -hmm. so I'll be in attendance there um, to receive the award. Um, so I'd be, a, I don't know if they'll take me. I gotta, I'll have to call them, call Megan. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Yes, call call and see if you can get on the. Oh. Yeah, well, congratulations on the award, but I would call and see if there's an opening. Um, sometimes they have cancellations and a slot opens up, or maybe they'll even just donate a table in the vendor area, and you could have, you know, we could ship you some things about the Daniels Fund, and you could be at a table and have conversations with people. Okay, I'm I'm open to do anything that you need me to do um, for that because I will be there. Okay, I have plenty of time to um, do some sessions or you know sit at a vendor table. Right. Okay. Why don't you reach out? You know her, right? So why yes, don't you reach out to her and see if they have any slots available or whether they would be willing to let you, you know, these are all free resources and as a teacher you'd like to share them and if they don't have a session would they give you a table where you could you could show people um, okay. about the resources. And, that sounds great. Okay, terrific. Good. Thank you, Nadine. Sounds like you're doing some really great stuff and congratulations on um, your award. I want to hear more about it later. Okay. We'll do a feature on you. So. All right. Thank you. Yep. Hi Grace, I'm so happy Hi. you're able to join us. It doesn't matter, you're a little bit late. You're out on that West Coast. I just came back from the West Coast, so I'm a little bit still on West Coast time slot. So, um, Grace, we went over um, the Daniels Fund, like the the training expectations, and I'm recording this, so you'll be able to go back and review that portion of it. But really, okay. right now, what we're getting some updates on if you've completed any presentations, what feedback that you've received, um, any future presentations planned, questions you might have or ideas. Um, in this way as we're sharing, others can get ideas, oh I hadn't thought about you know kind of presenting in this area or through this venue. So go ahead and we'll let you report out and then Beth will come back to you. Okay, well, first of all, my class didn't run for next year, so we only had 15, so they're not going to run it. Um, they're, in fact, they're cutting classes all across the board for everybody. Um, then our Washington Association of Marketing Educators Conference was canceled, so that presentation was canceled. But I am presenting next week at the general advisory meeting for um, two large school districts, including ours and our WANIC, or um, the vocational program as well. And our CT specialist did want me to focus on the ethics class, even though we're not teaching it. So I am going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I still have summer conference coming up. I'll be presenting there and then conclave. I just don't know how many people are going to be at the general advisory meeting is the problem. And I've checked with our state ACTE, and their, um, you know, their only conference is in August, and then WAVA, the, the um, the administrators, they're done until August as well as far as conferences. So I'm kind of stuck for any other meetings at this point. Well, maybe what we can do, um, when is Rick and Brenda Davis, when do they do their training? They're not this year. Oh, they're not doing training either. No, and I'm not, you know, I could maybe have squeezed it in because I teach the summer class for leadership for the CTE cert yep. certification program, but I have developed an ulcer this year from everything, so I had to say no. Oh, yes, <laughs> <can't>. absolutely. <laughs> you know, so I'm not doing that this year either. So, like I said, I'm just, things are bad up here. <laughs> oh, man, I hate to hear that, Grace. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder if, um, I know, so I'm, I'm thinking, you know, if Whammy canceled their conference, there may be teachers who would be willing to jump on a webinar with you. Um, and, you know, a webinar you can do, I had mentioned before you had joined us, a webinar you can do right from your home at any time of day or night. I can. And it's just the time of year. The, you know, it the is. other thing I could do is um, with our fall, DECA Fall Leadership Conference, the State Fall Leadership Conference, 
yeah. I may be able to get in there yeah. and um, it, for an advisor presentation. Yeah, and remember, these presentations don't have to be done by the end of the school year. It's the oh, calendar wait. year, right? Okay. So, yeah, right. So, oh, but I thought we had to have three big ones in by conclave. No, you have to have three in. They don't have to be big ones. Okay. Then you I'll have, have to have conclave. Masses. Well, then with conclave, I'll have my three, and then I can still do FLC. Yeah. If they'll do sure. any advisor ones. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want this okay. to put all kinds of pressure on all of you. I'm not into giving anybody ulcers. <laughs> yeah. So well, this um, was not what gave me the ulcer. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, uh, it's other things in your life. And, you know, I can check with Lori as well um, to see. And then do you have FBLA or BPA in your state? I can't remember. We have FBLA. Okay, so there may be, you know, in the fall, right. there might be an FBLA weekend conference. There is. There is. I would just have to get released from school in order to do it because we used to do it with Whammy. It used to be BAM, Business and Marketing. Oh, and, sure. Um, yeah, and Whammy backed out of it because it was mostly uh, business. Okay. So, so, you know, when I hear about more things in the fall, I'll have more opportunity, but then I just have to Absolutely. get released too. and. We may be doing a super contract again in the fall, so. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll make this work. We'll do some brainstorming in April, and I can, you know, kind of brainstorm and think of some ways that you guys can present as well um, in your states and, and send you out some ideas, and, and maybe one of the things I can do is to start to gather some, you know, locations, and I know that during the school year, that's sometimes an issue, as you mentioned, Grace, in terms of being able to get release time, um, but sometimes there's weekend conferences um, and, you know, or, or evening, um, you know, conferences that last longer that maybe would be in your area. I don't know, but mm -hmm. we'll check for, we can check for all of you and start, I can start looking and seeing what might be available, and at least you can see what the opportunities are. They may not work out totally, but right. um, at least they're there, and, and maybe we can we can kind of think outside the box. So, all yeah, right. The good news is that our CT specialist, I guess, had nothing to do, so she did the framework, the state frameworks for the class, oh, thinking the class goodness. was going to run. So yeah. I haven't even look, had a chance to look at them yet. So I'm sure they need some you know, finagling, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have the class yet, but I can send right. that to you so you can send it to everybody if you want. Oh, that would be awesome. That'd be terrific. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. And tell her, is it a her? Yeah. Tell her, tell her I said thank you. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. <laughs> All right. That is huge. Yeah. Hey, Beth, I see you had a power surge and we lost you for a few minutes. Um, Beth, you want to go ahead and, and um, share out? Sure. Um, can everybody hear me okay? We can hear you just fine. Okay, good. Um, our big things are coming up in the summer, and I will be presenting to the um, marketing teachers at GATT, which is our Georgia Association of Career and Technical Teachers. It's open to more than just the marketing teachers, so I don't know how many extra people we will have, but that's my starting point. I will also be doing a workshop there for new marketing teachers. So that'll be two different groups that I'll hit at the same in the same weekend function. I'm talking to um, Delta to see if I can do anything with business ed. That's one area where I'd like to kind of get it involved. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the things in Georgia, we don't offer it as a curriculum. My job is to teach teachers how to integrate it into what they're already teaching. So I've been working on ways to do it, you know, ethics, ethics Fridays, using different mm -hmm. things like gray matter. Um, so that's where we're coming from is integrating it in and making it a part of those skills. One thing I have not been able to do, and I'm, I'm trying to work on getting that contact done in the next little while, and it may be July when I get to GACD and can sit down with the Department of Labor. They have a program out now for all career tech students, and it has been embraced by our work-based learning teachers. And ethics plays a big part of that. I would love to be able to speak to the work-based learning teachers um, about this and how this can be integrated. Work-based so, learning um, teachers is a great idea. 
great that's, option. So that's one of my on my to do list because I think that ta you take that there and you show how the Department of Labor standards correlate to what we've got, and it's 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 a perfect match. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the audiences. I've also talked to my old school district in Savannah, and pre um, when the teachers come back preschool. They're going to let me talk to all of the career tech teachers. Oh, um, wonderful! About being able to put it in, and I feel like Savannah is a good starting point because mm -hmm. I've got some really good academic support and show other teachers how they can draw from what we've got because it really ought to be integrated across the board in all of the the career classes. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, we don't, in that sense, too, we don't overlap with them curriculum-wise, so if they know that this is an option, I don't think you can teach it too much. I don't think a kid can see it too often, but we really don't teach the same kids either. So it's going right. to broaden, broaden the reach that we've got. So that's where I'm at. I haven't actually made the presentations, but I've been working on getting them ready, getting materials ready. And when you said something about sending materials, right. Um, I've got to get with Linda Smith, but they she told us a couple of weeks ago before nationals that Gacti would, might let us have some tables. It's very very expensive to pre to present in the vendor room at Gacti, but they might give each organization like a vendor table against the wall. And yep. if I can if I can do that and get one, then I would love to be there in the hall with with materials. Because that, that would, would be expose up. us to everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, two good points I think that Beth made that you might want to think about is your work-based learning teachers either um, very often will have, and of course this varies from state to state and from region to region, um, but I've found across the states that a lot of times there are work-based learning teachers that have smaller regional groups and often we'll meet at the end of the school day um, and that that could be certainly for you something for you to check into if you have a work-based learning person at your school or if they're housed at the ISD as a group to present to and then um, another thing when she said professional development think about your you're going when you're going back to school not when you're ending school because everybody's all about we got to get through the rest of this time and our seniors are leaving really soon um, but when you go back to school most school districts offer professional development so if you could do a presentation to all of your CTE teachers um, or even just if you have a larger department or you have a school district that has multiple high schools and and your CTE departments meet together that would be a really good option as well if you could have some time on the agenda but you'd want to start checking on that now because people are planning their PD for back to school already um, so so that would be an option um, as well any other thoughts or ideas anyone has? April, anything you want to add to this or something that you've thought about as they've been talking about their presentations? Um, yeah, so how, how, how much do we need to stick to just the career technical educators? Sorry. I don't, I don't think, I don't. April, you and I are having this conversation out loud. Um, so I'm saying that the key is to get this into the into school districts. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, you know, there are a number of high schools that offer some type of character education class, or even as part of their wellness class, there's a mental health unit, something of the sort. Um, you know, that's a very, very limited number of of educators but I think and social studies teachers health teachers teachers across the board would be interested in hearing about these materials um, and I, I think that there is opportunity even for the academic teachers to incorporate pieces in their classrooms so that's a really good point um, April so even a presentation um, during a um, staff meeting at your school um, mm -hmm. might be a really good option. Now, 
I don't know about all of you, but if you wanted to put Brenda, like, sweating from head to toe, put me in front of my own staff at my high school. I could do hundreds at a conference, and then I would look at my peers and freak out a little bit. So I'm just putting that out there. Probably the rest of you are not like that. Um, but, you know, it's really great when teachers hear from their peers at their school. Those were the sessions I really enjoyed the most um, when people were sharing out what they were doing. And April's right. This ethics isn't just about current technical education. It really crosses the board. So um, not that you'd want everyone in your in your building all trying to get your resources and teaching them, but they might it might get them thinking about doing some ethics, grabbing some of those gray zones possibly going out to the Daniels fan, fun site and looking for those case studies that that match their area like the ones that are more geared towards science um, and there are a couple on there um, there's one it, about motor company automotive companies maybe engineering could pick up and do as well so that would be an option if that's something that your principal would allow you to do either to the full staff or to all of your, if you meet separately as a CTE staff. And I think regardless of the makeup of your audience there, if you're doing it in your school or your school district, you're also building up, you know, you're getting publicity for your programs too. Not mm -hmm. just talking about ethical leadership, but being able to sh put yourselves out there as leaders with strong programs and hear things that, that your students are doing that are, are so great you want to share. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really good point, April. So now we've opened more doors for you in terms of presentations. <laughs> um, I'll be looking, um, I'm going to send out a form for you. I know some of you will be wrapping up school in just a couple of weeks. Um, so by about the end of next week, I'll have a form out to you just to kind of put down on paper who you presented to, how many you've presented to, um, and then any that you have um, planned in the future. Um, and it'll have some questions on it. Do you need some help identifying, you know, places to do presentations at, that kind of thing, and and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. And if if anyone happens to take a photograph of you giving your presentation, or you can take a photograph of the group that you're presenting to. Um, we always like seeing things like that too, and possibly sharing on Facebook and, and on our website and such. Oh, good point, April. That's a really good point, yeah. Anytime you can take pictures for us, it's awesome. <laughs> yep. and, go ahead. Oh, I thought someone was going to speak. So um, if you do take photos, just send them to April um, or to me or to both of us. And then just give us a little bit of, you know, where are you at? Where are you presenting? And we'll get that posted. But that will also help us to, when we provide feedback to the Daniels Fund because I know that they would like to see pictures as well. I have a question. Um, so for the digital badges for the course? Yes. What um, are there? What exactly were the topics for those? I can't re remember where I had that. Well, so um, are you? Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so, are you speaking of um, the digital badges? Any that are directly tied to the ethical leadership course? Yes, because I know I'm going to get that question. Okay. Because they well, asked, they you... specifically asked for industry certifications. <laughs> Yes. Um, we do offer an ethical leadership end of course exam that has a batch tied to it. And that exam covers um, content from the one semester course. So it's great regardless of whether you're teaching the one semester course or the two semester course. The two semester has a little bit more content, but you know, we're just going to test over that, that one semester. Um, uh, set of performance indicators. So that's one option. Um, and then two, um, we have on our to-do list in my office to develop a Fundamentals of Ethics Ask certification. And that exam is still 
just in our minds right now, but I'm imagining an exam that is shorter than our other ask exams, maybe 50 questions, maybe 40 questions. I don't know. But um, presenting a case to students and then having them respond, answering, you know, four or five, six questions based on what occurred in that case, you know, what would be the most ethical um, action for this person to take or so on. Um, so that is something that I hope we have ready by conclave. Okay, weren't there micro, uh, micro credential uh, exams too that were like 20, 25 questions? Yeah, so, yes, but those are not tied directly to this ethical leadership course. They're okay. based on our different instructional areas from the national standards for business administration versus anything okay. specific to. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions that people might have? Okay. I want to talk about Conclave for a minute if I can get this PowerPoint to move forward. Um, as you know, Conclave is going to be in Vancouver, Washington, October 6th through the 9th. I just left there, um, did some, some additional planning. Um, looks like it's going to be just really a great conference. We, we're getting a lot of enthusiasm from the Vancouver business community. Um, celebration, while I can't reveal where it's going to be yet because um, we need to sign a couple of contracts, um, is going to be a whole host of fun because I'm all about having some fun when we've been working so hard. <laughs> You're going to get a letter from Annie through me. It's actually from me. Annie will be sending that out in the next couple of days. Um, we have a couple of things that we really need you to do. Um, even if you haven't, you know, I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I haven't done these three sessions and I don't have them planned, so I really ought not to register for Conclave. We really want you to be at Conclave this year. And if you end up doing two trainings before Conclave and we have the other three after and we need to do a little bit of an extension, I'm okay with that. This is the first time we've done ethics specialist training and we're kind of all learning this together. So um, bottom line is I'd like all of you to be at Conclave. Um, all of it is paid for, um, and, but I need you to do a couple of things for me. I need you to go to our website and I need you to get registered for your hotel. Um, and the reason I need you to do that is I'm a little bit nervous about our Thursday night count in terms of making sure we have enough rooms for everyone. Um, on Thursday evening and the hotel is willing to work with me on that but I want to know if I really do need more room so I'm trying to front load everyone who I think is going to be at Conclave um, and get them to register for their hotel so I can make a better educated guesses if I need to up those numbers for Thursday night um, at Conclave so um, register for the hotel. You'll have to give them a credit card number. It won't charge you anything. It's just to hold your room. Send that confirmation number to Annie. Let her know that you're an ethics specialist training, trainer so that she can charge it to the right account. And then she will move your hotel room over to the master account. When you arrive October 6th, um, or October 5th, fly in Thursday night. Most of you will probably fly in Thursday night. They'll ask you for a credit card for your incidentals, but your room will all be taken care of by the master bill. Um, the other thing that you need to do is to register for the conference, and Annie is going to be sending you a code, um, and that code will allow you to register um, to attend the conference. We will handle flight arrangements later, um, probably in August. So if you do not check your email for work in August um, before you leave for the school year, please give me a backup email um, that I can either um, send you an email or if you are one of those teachers who is like, I don't do email at all in the summer, 
this is my summer, then give me a cell phone that I can at least text you and say, hey, we need to make those flight arrangements. Um, but you'll be getting um, a letter from Annie. Um, those letters are all in her hands, but she's doing some budget work, so I don't know if they're going to get out tomorrow or, or possibly Monday. And it'll have your registration code. It'll have a link to the hotel. Um, and, and you'll want to be available starting on Friday morning. So you'll want to come in on Thursday night, October 5th, um, and be available on Friday morning um, for some updates and some additional training. Okay. Any questions about Conclave? Nope. So are we paying a registration fee? No, you're not paying register? for anything. Nope. It's, okay. it's, everything is paid for. So that's okay. a really good question so that you can put in for it with your school district. Obviously, they could still say no, um, even though it's paid for. Um, but I hope that they would not. But we pay your registration. We pay all your transportation. Um, we pay your flight, just like we did in January when you came down okay. to Orlando. Yeah. Okay. So and 150 towards the sub, was it? Uh, it's a hundred dollars per day, okay. up to a hundred dollars per day for the sub. Okay. Yes. For sub, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you don't have anything else, this was scheduled till 6:45, so I'll wrap it up two minutes early for you, and. You can all be happy you get out of school a little bit early. You guys have a great, oh, hang on, i got to go with the next, I'm not going to let you out early. I just, that was a joke. So our next webinar, um, don't forget, is June 1. I checked the registration today. Um, I think most everyone is already registered for it, um, but Annie will send that back out again just as a reminder. So if you have not registered, um, you can get registered for that, and that will kind of wrap up our, it going into our summer and then we will skip July for a meeting and we'll, we'll kind of meet back up in August when we're getting ready to make those flight arrangements and all the rest of that kind of stuff and gearing back up for school. So I will, um, I will talk to you um, next on June 1. If you have any questions in between, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to April um, and we'd love to help you. Ideas for making presentations. I'm going to kind of gather these ideas. I'm going to reach out to your state state advisor or your state supervisors and see if they have any ideas. Um, and then I'll do some background research as well. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have a great night, great weekend. Uh, don't hey. forget Kentucky Derby on Saturday. Get those really yeah. cool looking hats out. <laughs> I wish I could show you mine. I would love to show you mine because I got my derby hat. Just came in the mail yeah. today. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye, Thanks. everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.